All right, good morning everybody, or good afternoon, I guess. Um, so this video is a little bit late. Um, I kind of thought about this video a little last minute, but we're going to jump right into this. So, with the event of BlizzCon just coming out the last week, I guess, well, the event happened within the last week, weekend, a lot of information I've been stewing, and myself being a huge Overwatch fan, I, uh... I'm really static to hear about Overwatch 2, and let's I'm gonna talk about that. Um, so let's talk about it. So, Overwatch 2, I was definitely very hesitant with all the rumors going around that it was not gonna be a thing, going to be a thing, maybe not, I don't know. And the more that it seemed to lead to BlizzCon, the more it seemed to be true. Now, I don't like change, so to be honest, I didn't want this to be a reality. I wanted them to go, oh, have a brand new, like, update missions, story missions, and just add it on to the previous game. Now, that is fine. That's what I wanted, but I got something close. Now, I'm going to break this video down into two parts. So, so far, what we know is that there's going to be a PvE. Now, that it's going to be potentially a new uh, faction. So whatever that may be, um, you got your Null Sector and then your Talon that you're going to be fighting against in your PVE missions, and then you, or sorry, PVE missions, and then there's going to be cinematics, two, one at the start, one at the end, much like the Archives ones. Two new heroes confirmed. Now whether that's going to be in this game or the next game, so we got the 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 Souljorn, and then Echo. So those are ones the two confirmed characters. Um, so they're pretty cool. I'm really excited for those. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff too that is happening for the thing. So the PvP that consists in the game is that it will still kind of merge together. So you'll be able to play PvP between Overwatch and Overwatch 2. They kind of one central server allegedly, so that it just you can both be playing the separate games but playing the same PvP. Um, there's a new game mode called Push. Now that's kind of similar to the Heroes of the Storm mode that they have where you're Whoever controls the objective longer pushes it to that base kind of thing um, It's much much like that and then um, So that's gonna be fun to play in the first person. I'm kind of excited for that. It's, a, it's a really interesting thing you got a couple new maps you got Toronto uh, Guthenberg and then Rio de Nero so that's going to be awesome as well. So the one thing that they're adding in the PvE, I don't think it's PvP, um, is items. So they have different defense, offensive, and then healing items for you to grab. So I'm not sure what they are. I don't know if they're just like little grenades or much like Borderlands 3 where you pick up like different shield generators or maybe um, or different like ammo things. So like those little shards that you pick up in Borderlands. I don't know if it's going to be something like that. And I don't know if that's strictly PvE or pvp but i feel like that's going to be cool as well skins player icons emotes all the other type of stuff allegedly those are all crossing over to overwatch 2 so anything that you keep have gotten in this game you still get to keep so if you're like me and you spent money on some of those loot boxes you get to keep all your skins which is fantastic now they also have the updated looks as well so i'm kind of hoping that you can have your classic look and then the updated look is two different skins. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Hooded Genji is cool. They're really awesome. But, you know, if I wanted to play, like, the normal style Genji, I, I hope that's a thing. I'm not sure if it is or not, but I would really hope that it's a thing. So each character has its own leveling system, customization stuff. So kind of the stuff that some of the stuff we saw is Genji's got the... Um, kind of like the Lucio Pulse, so when he swings the sword, the energy shoots out from the sword. Torbjorn has multiple flame th turrets that he can place throughout the thing. Um, Hanzo's kind of got like a weird scatter sonar, where it basically, yeah, you shoot it, and then it's like Yondu almost, where and then it just like shoots across everybody. Um, May's got some really cool freezing abilities, where she freezes, and then when she releases the freeze, a wave of freeze comes out in front of her and then she's got like a ball that she can freeze and roll around into Reinhardt's um, earth shatter instead of it just being a direct kind of like um, I guess signal wave from like just in front of him spreading out it's now like almost like a radius pulse which is also super cool they had a tracer one where tracer had her pulse grenade where she launched at one thing and then it kind of just traced across a bunch of other enemies as well 
causing like miniature pulses as, as the way through. Like I said at the start of the video, I really enjoy Overwatch. I am like, when I get this obsessed with the game, it's just, that's it. Like, it's not necessarily the only game that I play, because I do play lots of other games, but it's a game that I always make sure that I come back to at least a couple times a week to continue playing so that I don't, you know, suck. Um, I know there's been a couple moments where I have stopped playing for a little while, and then I come back, and I'm like, bah, I wish I didn't, right? Because, you know, sometimes life gets away from you. Like I said, I, I feel like this game is going to be really cool. I like the idea that they're com allegedly combining the two together eventually, so that, you know, I can play the pvp of two with the updated looks and the updated everything which is would be really really cool um i just feel like maybe they should have joined overwatch 2 and just released it as a big content drop on overwatch and they kind of just like almost like the way that they did with um you know master chief collection fallout 76 all that other type of stuff where they just like basically just rebuilt the game again um, I feel like that would have been a thing, because to be honest, Overwatch, a lot of the fan base that I was noticing was trying to kind of lose it, it was kind of getting boring. They kind of stopped releasing, like, content-wise, like, we didn't really get see official lore for Zenyatta, I know that was one of the biggest things that I noticed that people <laughs> were kind of thing. And then, like, the biggest con lore drop for Zenyatta we have is the fact that we know he can actually walk and not just float around because he was stretching. Um, so, so it's like simple stuff like that. I really wish that they would have like done it a little better to tie it over. Maybe, you know, continue dropping more lore up until this point. I know they've been working, well, they had that one thing that they were working on something really, really big before and they wouldn't tell us whatever what it was. We all thought it was gonna be a part of Overwatch, but I guess it was Overwatch 2 all this time. But I am excited for it. I will probably definitely be pre-ordering that. Um, unless, of course, the con confirmations of it combining together and being like completely free to play is a thing which I don't think it would because why would they lose money on that um, I'd probably be, be buying it there's also a couple things the cinematic that is also really cool that I noticed is that um, I hope this is part of the game I doesn't have to be part of PvP but a PvE at least the Regida and Reinhardt their shields can combine oh I thought that was that was that was really cool and I feel like that could be a really awesome way to have like like that defense extension because I know once a shield goes out but then you put them together so you have maybe a little bit of a longer shield and then the health of the shield increased a little bit which I feel like that could be a really interesting way to push through certain areas but that's my personal take on it but like I said this is so I feel like it's gonna be fun exciting I'm still overwatch diehard so it's that's me that's me personally if you have a different opinion that's that's okay you can be yourself it doesn't really matter here but i thought i would just talk about it a little bit um so yeah so i don't really do really informational videos like this at all i'm trying something a little different so if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a thumbs up there's probably going to be a lot more stuff coming out from this video so and everything in this video is just allegedly obviously things can still change and um, I may not be 100% accurate, but this is just from what information that I could find out of. And uh, so yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. Make sure to leave a comment below what you think of Overwatch 2. Um, if you're into that type of stuff, if not, then I mean, just say hi. That, 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 always, <laughs> that always helps too. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all next video. Later.